By order of the Overseer Council, the following file is level 4-7147 classified. Unauthorized access is forbidden. Item number, SCP-7147, level 4 secret. Containment class, neutralized. Special containment procedures. The land surrounding SCP-7147 has been purchased and marked as private property. Observation Post 714 is to remain staffed by at least one security guard at all times. Any civilians found trespassing are to be turned over to the local authorities. No further actions are deemed necessary. SCP-7147 is to be tested for the re-emergence of anomalous phenomena on a monthly basis. In the event that SCP-7147's previous anomalous capabilities are restored, the O5 Council is to be notified immediately. Following this, all mentions of SCP-7147 in the Foundation database, including the entirety of this file, are to be expunged. As of July 25, 2022, no further attempts to deliberately restore SCP-7147's anomalous attributes are to be undertaken. Archived Containment Procedures Observation Post 714 has been constructed in the near vicinity of SCP-7147, under the guise of a privately owned research station. On-site personnel are tasked with deterring civilian exploration of the area and prepping for upcoming performances of Procedure 700 Harpocrates. Personnel assigned to SCP-7147 are to have their amnestization records screened to ensure they meet the requirements outlined in RISA Mandate 49123. Footnote 1. Amnestization Record an official record detailing the dates, associated clearance levels, and any related incidents for every time a member of staff has been administered amnestics. Any personnel who fail to meet such requirements are prohibited from working with SCP-7147. All proposals to perform Procedure 700 Harpocrates must be approved by two personnel of Level 4-7147 clearance, as well as the decommissioning department. Description. SCP-7147 is a forest glade located in the Olympic Mountains of the Pacific Northwest. The perimeter of SCP-7147 has developed in a manner which resembles the Foundation insignia. Prior to May 17, 2022, any objects, entities, or concepts recognized as anomalous by the Foundation that were brought into SCP-7147 would either disappear entirely or be permanently altered in such a way so as to conform with consensus reality, effectively neutralizing all anomalous phenomenon. Addendum 7147-1 Discovery SCP-7147 was first encountered by members of MTF Beta-4, Castaways, on May 5, 2022. The detachment was in the process of tracking four instances of SCP- which had recently escaped from a nearby GOI-466, Wilson's Wildlife Solutions, facility. During pursuit, one of the SCP- Instances fled towards SCP-7147. However, upon clearing the tree line, the entity was transformed into a snowshoe hare, Lepus americanus, allowing it to be captured without further difficulty. While the coordinates and time of the incident were recorded, further investigation was postponed until the completion of the MTF's objective. Following the successful capture of the rest of the SCP- Instances, the Lepus americanus specimen was tested and confirmed to no longer possess anomalous abilities. The subsequent incident investigation ultimately determined that SCP-7147 was the cause of the entity's neutralization. This discovery led to the establishment of Observation Post 714, as well as the initialization of a series of tests to determine the extent of SCP-7147's capabilities. Access Rise and Notice Notice from the Foundation Records and Information Security Administration. Please note that all official files written before May 17, 2022 refer to SCP-7147 as UAE OP-714-1. The UAE, or Unclassified Anomalous Entity, type designation is a temporary placeholder used in official documents for anomalies that have not yet been given a proper designation or file. The reason for the two-month delay between SCP-7147's discovery and its proper classification was an unexpected influx of anomalous phenomenon across the globe, leading to a backlog of requests submitted to the classification committee. Addendum 7147-2 Test Logs all anomalies tested were brought into SCP-7147 before being transferred to one of Observation Post 714's isolated testing rooms. Testing was overseen by Dr. Alexander Sharp and Dr. Serena Lewis. Below is an abridged test log. Anomaly tested, AO-00013. Notes, 
AO-00013 is a six-sided die which occasionally lands on a seven. Results. AO-00013 has not been observed to land on a seven since entering UAE OP714-1. Anomaly tested, SCP-444. Notes. Test was conducted to determine the effect of UAE OP714-1 on individuals afflicted by a mimetic pathogen. Testing procedure consisted of a subject infected with SCP-444 being brought within UAE OP714-1. Language recognition software was then used to determine if they were still infected. Agents present for the test were provided with appropriate noise-canceling headsets. Results. Upon entering, the subject appeared to be confused and disoriented. After some time, they spoke the English word, hello, and recoiled in surprise, at which point they were removed from UAE OP714-1. Post-test analysis has revealed that all changes to brain structure caused by SCP-444 were reverted. Additionally, the subject's memories were altered, such that all echoic memories of SCP-444 had been removed, leaving them to believe that they had spent the past several months in silence. Footnote 2. Echoic Memories. Memories of Auditory Stimuli. Anomaly Tested. Y909. Notes. No plans to test the Y909 substance were ever made. However, Agent Finnegan, who was assisting in testing UAE OP714-1, had been previously administered Y909 derivative amnestics. Results. Upon entering UAE OP714-1, Agent Finnegan regained memories previously removed by Y909-based amnestics. Though this initially went unnoticed, Agent Finnegan reported himself to his superior under the belief that the re-emerging memories were invasive thoughts brought on by a mimetic hazard. Following this incident, all staff assigned to work on UAE OP714-1 are to have their amnestization records screened, to prevent breaches of informational security. Anomaly Tested can't counter. Notes. This test was originally meant to determine the Hume levels found within UAE OP714-1, not the effects of UAE OP714-1 on can't counters. Results. All can't counters brought within UAE OP714-1 returned an error reading. Subsequent tests revealed all electrical components within the counters to still be operational. However, the component was found to no longer react to Hume differentials. The implications of this result are still being investigated. Anomaly Tested SCP-682 Notes As per standard procedure, a tissue sample of SCP-682 was used in place of SCP-682 itself. Results The tissue sample disappeared immediately, leaving no traces. SCP-682 was noted to face the direction of UAE OP714-1 from its cell at Site-19 upon the completion of the test. Anomaly Tested UAE OP714-2 Notes During regular testing, an organism resembling a coyote, Canis latrans, was seen in the near vicinity of UAE OP714-1. Research staff witnessed the coyote, later designated as UAE OP714-2, use minor telekinetic abilities. After some time, the specimen wandered into UAE OP714-1. Results the Canis Latrans specimen was unaffected by UAE OP714-1. Anomaly tested. A non-anomalous paperclip. Notes. Dr. Lewis proposed the creation of a fake SCP file, with the subject being a non-anomalous paperclip. The file described the existence of the paperclip as anomalous. This paperclip was then brought within UAE OP714-1. Results. The paperclip disappeared. Addendum 7147-3 Procedure 700 Harpocrates Proposal Upon the completion of the initial battery of tests, the following memorandum and proposal were submitted to the O5 Council. Access Memorandum 2. The Office of the O5 From Dr. Alexander Sharp Subject Proposal for Procedure 700 Harpocrates Esteemed members of the O5 Council, I'm writing to inform you of a major breakthrough with the anomalous glade recently discovered in the Olympic Mountains. You tasked me with determining the extent of UAE OP714-1's abilities, and I must confess, I was not expecting the results we found. The short of it is that we have been granted a boon, a genuine stroke of good luck. The glade does not simply neutralize anomalies. Instead, it neutralizes whatever the Foundation recognizes as anomalous. This small distinction has opened a number of possibilities for us. 
One, the Foundation would be able to neutralize anomalies that can't be successfully transported to the Glade by creating an SCP file that designates a proxy item as the source of a separate anomaly's effects, we would only need to bring the proxy item within UAE OP714-1 to be rid of the anomaly. 2. The Foundation would be able to neutralize non-localized anomalies. See above. 3. The Foundation would be able to neutralize non-anomalous threats. While this may seem to go beyond our jurisdiction, we're often forced to deal with GOIs which, while not inherently anomalous, utilize anomalies for their own benefit. And 4. The Foundation would be able to neutralize certain harmful aspects of anomalies while keeping those components which we deem beneficial. This could be accomplished through precise rewrites of our files that would outline certain undesirable features as anomalous, while noting other features to be accepted as a part of baseline reality. I recognize that the Foundation is not in the business of destroying the anomalous, and that manipulating the non-anomalous to our benefit may not align with our modus operandi. However, I believe it is our duty to seize this opportunity for change, for the betterment of humanity. I have neglected to mention that the Glade has taken up the shape of our insignia. If this is not a clear declaration from the universe and its trust of our mission, of our capabilities, then I don't know what is. Secure. Contain. Protect. Co-lead researcher of observation, post 714, Dr. Alexander Sharp. Procedure proposal, Procedure 700, Harpocrates. Procedure designation, Procedure 700, Harpocrates. Procedure type, Digital file creation. Primary aim, to decommission threats to the Foundation and humanity as a whole. Required materials, UAE OP714-1. Administrative clearance to alter the Foundation database as necessary. Required funding. Not applicable. Involved persons. Head researcher of UAE OP714-1, Dr. Alexander Sharp. Decommissioning department liaison. Role unassigned. RISA liaison. Role unassigned. O5 council liaison. Role unassigned. Execution. All proposals to execute Procedure 700 Harpocrates on anomalous objects must be approved by the head researcher of UAE OP714-1 and undergo proper decommissioning approval. Upon receiving approval, an SCP file will be drafted which highlights the undesired anomalous phenomena as being caused by a harmless proxy object located at Observation Post 714. This file will then be uploaded to a secure Foundation server by the designated RISA liaison, and the proxy object will be brought within UAE OP714-1. Once the decommissioning is confirmed, the file is to be designated as a Dash D or fully expunged. Uses of Procedure 700 Harpocrates on non-anomalous objects, entities, or phenomena must receive additional approval from the Office of the O5 to ensure the procedure is used in accordance with the Foundation's mission statement. Contingencies to prevent UAE OP714-1's anomalous abilities from affecting itself, any files which detail UAE OP714-1 or its effects must explicitly refer to it as non-anomalous. This would require the following actions to be undertaken. 1. Redacting all references to UAE OP714-1 as anomalous in this proposal, as well as the associated memorandum. Two. The careful crafting of UAE OP714-1's SCP file to ensure there are no explicit or implicit references to it as anomalous. It is recommended that a specialist from the Department of Miscommunications be consulted on this matter. 3. Assigning UAE OP714-1 the EPARCH classification. After careful deliberation, the O5 Council voted in favor of a slightly modified version of Procedure 700 Harpocrates, with several changes being added to the approval process. Firstly, all proposals regarding non-anomalous entities must be approved by the Ethics Committee. Secondly, the number of Level 4-7147 personnel required to receive approval was changed to 2. Addendum 7147-4 Neutralization on May 17, 2022, UAE OP714-1 was assigned the official designation of SCP-7147. Despite all contingency plans being followed, SCP-7147 was found to be neutralized. Immediate investigation revealed a single note to be located at the center of SCP-7147. Am I really one of them? I'm sorry.
Thank you all so much for watching, and a huge thank you to all of my patrons on Patreon. Special shout out to Everborn, Joe Light, The Bone Man, Rubbishbin69, Tannis, Ruler of All, and Doomsday LLC, Prince and Design. If you'd like to help support the channel, head on over to patreon.com slash drmaxwell, link in the description.